All right, uh, we're set up. We got a dial indicator. Our carriage is set at zero. Uh, we're touched off on the face here, and we're getting ready to bore this in. Now the bearing's a half an inch here. We're going to probably, um, I'd like to at least stay like about ten thousandths above that if I can. So we're going to go ahead and set it. I'm going to go into like four uh, point four eighty. Um, just to start out until we get it out to size and then we'll probably face the back and the front uh, to match uh, but anyway we're gonna be right close to a half an inch of depth here and we're getting ready to go for that bore now Well, we're like one cut away from getting the bearing to fit in here. And I uh, just took a snap gauge reading here. And let's see here. Six inches, seven and a half down. So we got uh, like 17 and a half to go to get to uh, one and five eighths. And here we go. Here's the question. <laughs> you think you got a finished board? Do you try your part first, or do you try the gauge? And I always, I always gotta like take the part um, because <laughs> I want to either know right away if it uh, was oversized and and uh, uh, <laughs> scrap or what. And uh, feels like I got a pretty good fit in there. Might be a little bit tight. Let's see what we got on the dimension here. All right. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're like a half a thousandths over by my micrometer here. Let's see what the bearing actually mics out. Well, it, about a quarter over. Quarter and a half. It's pretty hard. Give me a little deburr, a little polish. We don't care if it's a light press in there. We'll, we'll be putting it home. All right, uh, we're gonna chamfer that. We're gonna double check that depth to there, to there, and just break those sharp edges. Then this one will be ready to weld the ring out here. All right, we got the uh, the bearing in this plate here. We set this up in the whole pattern here. And uh, we're looking good. We're kind of planning what angle this is going to go in relationship to the plate. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to weld the half rounds onto the disc. And then we're going to take those at the right height and poke them in and put the, the bearing bore for the other gear. Just to see how flush I got this with this piece here, I'm going to go kiss this on the sander so I can see the finish on there. Alright, this is making good contact all the way around here so I know that I'm at least flush. I'm not like pitched sideways or whatever, so I'm going to go ahead and put a bead around this one and then we'll get the other one to do the same thing.
All right, we got this uh, bearing pressed into the uh, bore here, and we're getting ready because we have a gear going in two different directions, and the whole purpose of putting this half round on here is to establish the second axis. Okay, so theoretically, we're going to be doing something like that, and in the wall here is going to be the bearing housing here. Now it's going to be real close to where this is barely going to be penetrating, but we left some extra out here, so the welding of this shrinks in here and we have a hard time getting the bearing into this bore here we'll actually be able to chuck it and spin it and come in here and, and dress that up um, hopefully we, we uh, are polite enough and um, we we won't have that problem but this is what we're doing is I'm not gonna blow any smoke up your skirt there I uh, I didn't have to figure out what it is from the flat to the center line here it's uh, it was in the book when I bought the gears so um, we got that number already so what we're going to do here is we're going to establish the bottom surface up to here. We mic that. That's three quarters of an inch. From this surface up, inch and three quarter will be the center of the hole. Well, we got this width here, and we're going to go ahead and uh, grab zero here, and we're going to come over half this width here, and then up our inch and three quarter plus the three quarter we got there, and that'll establish our hole. It's a bit much to take. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, I uh, sped it up and it seems to be settling out. So we're just going to continue the way it is right now. Um, I think it's doing fine. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're taking uh, 50 uh, a pass, that's uh, total on the diameter, so only 25 per side. A little faster isn't quite as shaky, this is staying pretty still, I think we're safe. We do have to go out to that diameter though. It's gonna take a while. Okay, we're getting real close here. is only uh, probably two on the thousand. The uh, curve gives the bore a starting point and an aiming point that uh, almost ex exceeds three-eighths of an inch here. are pretty tired. And I'm going to go ahead and sneak up on it. Well, it almost 
almost wants to start. Almost wants to start. Take another five. All right, I, I got this thing started in here. And now I'm trying to get it out. <laughs> it is pretty snug. That's close fit. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't leave that. But uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to want just a skosh of freedom or a little bit less, at least uh, palm it in and out or something here. So we're just going to take two more here. Okay, I that's the fit I thought I would was gonna want because I'm gonna want to slide it in. I'm gonna want to feel the the gear teeth me meshing, backlash, little tack. I want just a little tiny bit of play. I, I'm think I'm gonna be happy with that. All right, we're gonna slip this gearbox together, and uh, we believe that this is gonna be this section of the bearing here. And we're putting this up on the top here. We have our lower bearing here that's going to be guiding the lead screw here. And uh, we'll put a couple bolts in here. These barely have enough threads to do this, but they're, they're, they're going to give us an example of all four of these in here anyway. Okay. And then our rotation here, so we can align this bearing here. Lost one of our nuts at first one here. Okay, that's still staying nice and tight in there. We gotta have this gear on first here. Awesome. I think we got a gearbox. Now we'll be we'll trim this half round here. And we'll trim all the fat off of it. That's a, you know, we'll give it a little scallop and a little radius around here. But the shape itself is going to be an excellent strong back for this, uh, this bearing up here. Okay, like I was already saying, we're going to have to trim some fat off of here. And uh, we just did a quick trace here. So this little scallop area right there and this little scallop area right here. Remember, we have the track in here, and this roller does have to come past here on both sides. This one here is going to be turned this way, and it needs to be modified. But the one on the other side is going to be on the outside, and it only needs to have just a little tiny bit in on, on the, uh, the flange here itself, because the gear is going to be on the opposite side of the lead screw. 